Okay, well, <clears throat> I uh, put the key in, and then it took about a minute to verify, and then it says error. Product key, this is uh, the Windows 7 six, uh, product key uh, checking to download the install ISO or repair, repair install ISO. Um, and uh, so it says the part of key you entered appears to be for so a software pre installed by the device manufacturer. Please do contact the device manufacturer for software recovery options. Uh, so, FAQ. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Okay, so they won't let me download it. <coughs> Even though I'm a certified Microsoft system builder, huh? They don't even give you a way to. Uh, it just says contact the manufacturer. Okay, so. Uh, I don't know if there's something wrong with that ISO that I had or what was wrong. It, I think it should run on there. But. I do. You know. I have I have the. Uh, let me get over here where there's not white behind it. I have this the DVD, so it came with the. E uh, it actually didn't come with it. They had to send off for it and order it. I uh, have the order form and all that crap uh, for this, but. Um, and I what I, I was going by my memory, which <laughs> shouldn't do all the time. I'm just gonna put this in there and see if it will have an install option. I was just thinking, well, I need to do a full install, and this is an upgrade kit. So I thought, well, it's not going to install it. But, you know, sometimes I have seen uh, upgrade CDs, uh, like in Windows XP days and stuff, that would do a full install. Some of them, from what I can remember anyway, some of them uh, would and some of them wouldn't. And I never did figure out what, why they made them, did so many of them so many different ways and everything. Oh, yeah, see my lights over there? That's my uh, red-black bio store. I've got it up and running because I was going to, what I was fixing to do was download that ISO again, and uh, I th because it said that it was fragmented on my, uh, you know, my my error messages, and I thought, well, maybe it just uh, didn't copy good or something over from my server. It could have been the original download is not well fragmented. I mean, something about this easy to boot. It has to uh, the files need to be defragmented. So. Um, and I think it runs a check fixed disk on it too at the same time. But uh, anyway, so if you go to the Windows official site, the only way they're really going to let you download the ISO is uh, if uh, you had bought, you know, a, a retail package. Uh, Windows 7 is what I'm guessing. That's what it sounded to me like, what they were saying. So if you bought a whole machine along with their software, then you can't download the ISO to fix your machine. Thank you, Microsoft. That's why I've been using Linux since 2005. All right, bye.